What's up, Jivin here, bringing you another little podcast with gameplay. I've had this one idea that stuck with me for so long. I think it's a really cool idea. Let's hop into it. So I'm sure all of you have seen those space sci-fi movies where they're flying through outer space, but because it's such a long flight, they sit in chambers to kind of help them sleep and help their bodies stay young while they're space traveling. Basically, they just sleep in the chambers and the chambers preserve their bodies throughout the whole entire space travel. That way they don't have to wait, you know, hundreds of years to get to the faraway galaxies and planets that they're going towards. So watching those movies gave me this idea for a future technology that I feel like we might actually build one day. So here's the idea. As you know, we are currently building virtual reality worlds where we can socialize and interact in them. And you can basically build your own worlds in stuff like VR chat and other different VR games. So I have this idea that maybe one day we'll create VR chambers. And basically these chambers will preserve our bodies so we can live for so long in them. And within those chambers, we'll be hooked up to virtual reality worlds. In these worlds, we'll have the freedom to build whatever we want with our minds. So you can picture whatever you want and it'll just appear there. It'd kind of be like heaven on earth. You want a gumball? You got it. You want a basketball court outside of a mansion that you live in? You got it. You want to go skydiving? Just blink and think of it and you'll be there. Imagine how cool that would be if we had those chambers that we could literally have whatever we want instantly. And so you might be wondering, like, how would we survive? How would we get work done and stuff if we had these chambers? And my idea is we wouldn't even need to do anything. Like, we could just be in the chambers and the chambers would preserve our bodies so we wouldn't need to eat or do anything like that. There'd really be no responsibility. So it'd basically be heaven on earth and we'd be at the end of the road for human technology. Like, I feel like it couldn't get any better than that. You might also be wondering, like, wouldn't you get bored and lonely and feel like life has no purpose? Well, imagine this. Imagine you could visit other people's worlds. Just like you can invite people to your VR chat world and hang out, imagine you can visit other people's worlds that they created with their mind. It would literally be like jumping into somebody's mind. Like right now we can have conversations, but you don't even know what they're thinking. You don't know what kind of dreams they have and stuff like that. But in these VR worlds, you could literally hop into their world that they created with their mind and basically see everything that they dream of and stuff because all of their dreams are gonna be in that world. And this would make it so cool to socialize because if you went to somebody's world and saw all the things they created, I don't think it could get much more intimate and personal than that, you know what I mean? It literally sounds awesome. And then some of my friends were like, what about romance? You know, everybody wants to have a girlfriend eventually or a boyfriend. And my idea with that in these VR worlds would be when you visit somebody's world, say you're visiting this girl that you don't really know, but you want to get to know. You go to her world and you can fall in love with like her mind because her mind created the whole world. And if you love that world and you talk to her within her own world, I feel like that'd be the most personal thing ever. And you could literally customize dates. Like your mind can create whatever you want. So you could create the perfect date and just get to know each other in that world. So dating, I feel like would be insane. <laughs> Another thing that people asked me was, wouldn't it be unfulfilling? Because people like to work, you know, people like to work for an end goal, you know, they like starting from square one, working and feeling that fulfilled feeling when they actually accomplish something. So how would that fit into these worlds? Well, there's a couple ways that it could fit in, you know, you could build your own world where you have to accomplish tasks, or maybe there will be community worlds where different minds can come together and try to like create the best world possible. Another idea is maybe that being in these VR worlds is not a permanent thing. Maybe it's somewhere you go for a vacation and then once you're done and don't wanna be there anymore, you can leave and go back to the real world. And business can still run as usual outside of the VR chambers. But say you're not a fan of the real world and you wanna go into these VR worlds and experience society in there, you can just hop into a chamber and dream up whatever reality you want. Come on, tell me that doesn't sound dope. Like, let's be real here. It's like that episode of Black Mirror. I don't know if you guys watched that, but there was one episode where like, when you're about to die, you can choose whether you wanna take the risk and die and see if you go to an afterlife, or you could hook yourself up to a chamber where you could literally go wherever you want and do whatever you want. It's pretty much like that. Black Mirror beat me to this idea. 
I think in Black Mirror though, it was like you all went to one kind of vacation spot. Like you didn't get to make your own world. You just got put into an afterlife that was already designed for you. So that doesn't sound very fun in my opinion. It'd be way cooler if you could actually build your own world with your mind. Like in Black Mirror, it was like a party vacation spot, but it would make you a youngin again and you would just go around partying and stuff. So I could see the appeal, but I wouldn't want to live there for very long, to be honest. So I feel like this is really possible. We'd really need to advance our studies on the brain because the brain would be the thing controlling the virtual reality. Maybe we would have like manual controls and building options, but it'd be way cooler if you could just have the machine read your brain and then the machine would automatically just build the world for you. Another thing one of my friends said to me was what if somebody had a really dark mind and they pictured a lot of horror stuff and stuff that they didn't want to think about but it was there and then the machine would build it for them and you'd be living in a nightmare yeah that would suck um <laughs> but i would assume those people would just escape the chamber you know i in my vision you'd be able to leave the chamber like if something like that happened they would need an escape route so it would be mandatory that they build an exit for the machine Imagine you're in this world and you're doing that thing that I was talking about earlier where you go on dates and you go to visit somebody else's world and it's like a haunted mansion and you're just like in a nightmare. Oh my god, that'd be bizarre. Anyways, I think we could accomplish this one day. I don't know if you guys watched my last video where I talked about stuff about the simulation theory where we build a simulation of a universe just like our own and we watch the people in that simulation evolve. If we could build a simulation of our universe and watch them evolve past where we are right now, we could copy their technology into our world. So say we start that universe with the Big Bang, and then we literally run the whole simulation from the start where the Big Bang happens to the end, and then we hop into the future, see what kind of technology they build, and then we can copy it into our own world. Like say we make the Big Bang, we have all the laws of physics, the same elements, all that stuff, cause and effect, and you know everything evolves with time throughout that universe we could literally look into the future and copy their technology i'm not saying i like fully believe in this idea but that would be crazy because we could literally skip from where we are now technology wise and like evolution wise and skip way to the very end of humanity and maybe at the very end they have these chambers where we can build virtual reality worlds and like in our simulation of that universe they're all just like sitting in chambers dreaming in these VR worlds. Anyways, before I end this video, I just wanna say, I'm not trying to offend anybody by these conversations. In my last video, so many people were giving me tons of hate, saying that I'm an idiot for believing in this and that. And like, these are just philosophical ideas. They're not, I'm not saying I like fully believe in them. It's just fun thinking. It's like, when people make sci-fi movies, are you gonna literally email the directors saying, you're a fool for not believing in my religion. Like, it's just entertainment. We're just having fun. So no need to get upset. I'm sorry if I offended anybody by, you know, having a fun conversation, but we're going to keep them going. Let me know in the comments what kind of videos you guys want to see in the future. Because I am down to keep on making these if you guys want to see them. I've had a lot of DMs saying, keep on making them, let's go. You guys are hype. Anyways, let me know what you thought of this in the description. Just a fun little conversation. If you guys enjoyed this, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.